And now the last La Liga jersey, the big equalizer number two. And this was a long time in the making. I wanted to have a second Barcelona jersey for a long time. And I actually wanted to have an away jersey. But um, right around the time when I was about to pull the trigger on the uh, neon one, I, you know, I started being together with my wife and, you know, we're having a common household. And, you know, I live by the idea that whenever I want to buy something, unless it's really cheap, I want to run it by her or to get her approval, whether she thinks this looks good on me, not that I can buy it or whatever. Um, although it's also, you know, if you're family, you discuss, but I really, I ask her for her approval, whether she likes, whether she thinks this could look good on me or not. And yeah, the neon one, no, she was not going for that. Then a few years later, they had this um, light green with the red and the blue across the chest that I also thought could look nice. Now, the black one just didn't look right to me because there was the cutter foundation on there. And then, yeah, they didn't have many great jerseys. And then it also came, you know, you saw my first home jersey. It had the centered crest. Maybe it should, I should get an, another one that's a little bit... Uh, more to the side. Um, I really like the 2015 Champions League winning jersey. Um, but then again, what the Qatar Airways put me over. I'm still not over the fact that Qatar has this World Cup. I cannot possibly buy that. And then 2016 rolls around and there is the big uh, discussions about Qatar Airways, whether Barcelona continues or not, or whether they sign with a different company. And suddenly, because of that, because the deal wasn't finalized, the new jersey hits the stores. And it has two nice features. A, it is, tries to mimic the Champions League winning jersey from 92, which... Uh, not the winning, but the, the, the home jersey that they wore this season, which had kind of, it was by Maybach, a local manufacturer. I mean, Barcelona and Maybach, that is a combination. But it had this um, shadow striping within the big stripes. Uh, so that was kind of a really classic Barcelona shirt. And the second one came with a spawn, without a sponsor. And Barcelona shirts should be without sponsor, in my opinion. I understand they make, they're making a lot of money with this sponsor deal that they have there. there. But I still like that they held out so long and I wish they would still hold out. It's still Athletic Bilbao, the only one left. But yeah, I got a sponsorless version in 2016 and I actually liked it a lot. When I got it, it didn't have this. So, but I, I actually, I said to my wife, I want to have this and you can make this a birthday present for me. Uh, even though we bought it in August, I said, get me this one. You can keep it, give it to me on, on my birthday. Uh, I'm, I want to have this one. I really need, need to have this and now I can get it cheap and I can get it without a sponsor. Uh, that was important to me that I get this one. And you know, the colors are maybe not the perfect Barcelona colors, but I actually really like the shadow stripping. And actually, it's, it's a little bit thicker on the bottom and it thins out towards the top, which I didn't realize until I was wearing this for two weeks. Uh, or so on. It is of course the 2016 Nike template that I hated for national team jerseys, but actually I think this looks all right. Uh, it has a little bit darker sleeve, so I always have this. Um, my Barcelona jerseys have something darker on there. I only I don't get them only two colored. Uh, of course, you have the Nike swoosh, and this is the modernized Barcelona logo. It's a little bit uh, higher. And of course, at that time, they were still world champions. So I had to get this one. And yeah, I glued it on first because uh, I didn't want to play around with ironing and so on. And uh, it didn't hold up very well. So my mom I gave it to my mom. You can see the glue here. <laughs> That's amateur. But she actually sewed it on. So this actually looks really nice now. Um, the interesting part about this one is also, if you look this, that sleeves look a little bit darker, but actually this is achieved by taking the light blue and a navy tone. So that's 
it was a little bit odd. It was also the first time that I had such a jersey and actually the feel of this material is quite smooth and I actually really like that one. Then we have the modernized La Liga logo. I'm taking, yeah, the old version you saw on the other one. I don't like the sponsor here. Actually, what I would have loved is to get this with Starball and the five times winner uh, logo, but for some reason you cannot get Barcelona jerseys in Champions League conf configuration. I would love to have one in Champions League configuration. Uh, I think it looks even better on the back. I wish that the color on the front would do something similar here. So you have the striping here too. And then of course, on the very bottom, you have UNICEF, which yeah, there should be a number, but you know what I said about number. I would also wish that if you sell it sponsorless, um, and you have this, the UNICEF on the back, put it on the front. You could have put it on the front here too, and I still would have bought it. Oh, but, you know, I like, I love this sponsorless version. And then, of course, you have the Catalan flag, and this is very similar now to the 2018 version. It's just a small version. And this is the only team that I know that did this on the 2016 version of the Nike kit. And you can read here Barca. I've always wondered why not make it yellow here, but you know, they all had this same tone. Only my Roma, Roma away jersey doesn't have it. Yeah, um, if I'm wearing a Barcelona kit these days, it is this one. Um, it looks a little bit cleaner and, you know, if I wear it with a navy undershirt and so on, you, you can even get a nice overall look with that when it's a little bit colder outside. It actually feels quite comfortable wearing. Yes, there are a few things that I would like to uh, change, like the sponsor and get a star ball here and the other logo, uh, the five-time winner logo. I would love to have that. I don't know why, why I cannot get it this way. But yeah, I have this. That's why it's special. And it's without sponsor. That's extra special. Yeah, now I have two Barcelona, two Real Madrid. I need to get still a Barcelona away jersey and I need to get a lot of other Spanish teams. I am especially thinking about Athletic Bilbao, Atletico Madrid, Valencia. Those are the ones where I would like to have. And yeah, probably Espanyol too. Mono have many things. <laughs> um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more like this, Please subscribe to my channel and yeah, I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.